Where to begin? Back in late 2018 and early 2019, my friends and I were in love with the auto battler genre. Keep in mind, these were the days of the Dota 2 auto chess mod. Nothing like Dota Underlords, Teamfight Tactics, or any other similar game you can think of nowadays. I had made a few small Unity games in my first few years of development at this point, but these games inspired me to learn multiplayer. I couldn't believe there weren't any mobile versions of these games out yet, so I set out to make that my goal, to make one of the first mobile auto battler games. And it went about as well as you would have expected. I did make some serious progress over the next year, and everything was looking pretty good, but I realized partway through that a game like this is pretty much dead on release without a marketing budget. Although I had given up and had little to show for it, my passion for multiplayer games had now gone beyond anything I could have ever imagined. I began to think of a multiplayer project that could hit a few criteria that I needed to do before I started development. I wanted something that could be played on dedicated servers without matchmaking, something that would have fun and enjoyable PvP, and something that would still work if there were very few players online. Out of this, the idea to do open world survival was born. I used to play a ton of War Z, Day Z, and pretty much every zombie survival game you could think of, so this genre sounded pretty good for me personally as well. Now that auto chess game I've worked on for about 8 months, I used a multiplayer framework in Unity called Photon Pun. And while Photon Pun is really good for new people and just learning things, has a lot of flaws for the next game I wanted to try and make. I wouldn't learn about these problems until a couple months into development, but it became pretty clear I would need to learn a new multiplayer framework. This is where Mirror came in. Mirror is essentially Unity's old Unit multiplayer, but someone had forked it and changed it into their own thing after Unity stopped developing it for themselves. And now let's fast forward to today. With my game about to release on Steam, I wanted to make a few videos to show you what the good decisions, bad decisions, and everything in between was. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure you get subscribed. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.